Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, it's just another video. Um, starting to see, no matter where I go, no matter what I do, people just aren't really going to like me like that. And as a, a chosen, as as a chosen one of, um, as a chosen person of God, um, it just is what it is. Like God chose me to be unique. God chose me to be special. I'm not going to. I'm not going to be able to um, mix with everybody. I'm not going to be able to. Not going to be able to rock with everybody. I'm not going to be at people's first choice, their favorite choice. But it's like, no matter what I do, I can't get people to like me. Like how I see other people, quote unquote, like other people. Like it's like I've never been able to get on the same level as the the people that I'm around. I've never been able. I've I always feel like I'm casted out. But now that there's all this information out here, and I'm I'm blessed to see other people dropping information. I've already been kind of hip and privy to some of this stuff. It's just that, yo, I, I was afraid to talk about it, man, because I didn't want to sound crazy. I didn't want I didn't I didn't want somebody to come pick me up and put me in a, a, a straight jacket. But now, I mean, I was going to start dropping information anyway. I just had to wait for certain stuff because I got some things in place that I'm taking care of and. I thought I didn't want it to inter interfere with what I had going on because it's something important and I was told to not do anything on the internet, no social media stuff or whatever, but I have to get this message out, man, because this is therapy for me and it's helping me and I know it's helping other people to feel that they're not alone because it makes me feel good to know I'm not alone and that, and that there's other people out there like this that are going through these things and dealing with people who are acting special because they don't they're not tapped into who they truly are people don't know that they could be great people don't know that they could be their best self people don't know that they can improve people are so down that they don't know that they can improve and it's like if you're depressed and if if, if somebody who has nothing but you see their potential is making you feel bad about yourself and you have a house, you have a car, you got a full refrigerator, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like things like this. If you have these things and someone would that you feel because you're making assumptions because you honestly don't know what the hell this person has, you're just basing it from outside looking in. Unless you got a camera in that person's home, you don't know what the per you don't know what the hell that person has. So people are basing their assumptions off of what they went through people are looking at people and be like oh okay i remember when i was at that stage of life they ain't got nothing because they're basing it off of what them not having nothing when they were going through what they went through they're basing it off of that but it's just ignorance people making assumptions these are all things that we have to get over and not let us bother us People could make assumptions all day. It's called their opinion. People could make assumptions all day. It's called what they think of you. And no matter what we try to do, we can't stop that. And we shouldn't try to stop it because it's pointless and it's effortless. We could put that energy into something else. But the thing is, we're not we're not uh, evil spirited, and we don't do the types of negative things that they do. So it's like, wow, man, it's really people out there like that. How could I be this good person? How could I want the best for everybody else? How could I what how could I how could what I want for myself I want for everybody else and there not be other people out there like that? They they love that. You know what I'm saying? They they thrive off that because they don't know how to find that in, in themselves. So it's like they're just gonna go to an extreme and be the complete opposite. I don't know how to take the time to be a good person. I don't want to fight through my demons and be and, and figure out how to be a good person. I may not know how to 
go through what I got to go through to be a good person. And I damn sure don't want to, I, I, I can't humble myself to ask this person how, because they, they could see that we got through some stuff because they're the ones putting us through it. And they see the, uh, they see us not freaking out. So it's like they don't want to humble themselves and ask us, be like, yo, man, how are you getting through it? Yo, man, how are you staying above the bullshit? Yo, man, how are you constantly improving and getting better, man? So it's like they go to an extreme and it's like they just throw the horns up and just turn purple and go demonic on us. So it's like it is what it is. We got we to gotta spiritually fight that. We can't just sit there and just keep taking people's bullshit. So it's like, we're going to ignore you. <clears throat> we're not going to give you our energy. We're not going to give you eye contact because you don't deserve it. We're not going to um, just, we're not going to be drained. We're not going to allow you all to do that to us anymore. Um, the information is out there. Uh, we're learning. We're advancing. Every day we're getting better and better. And no matter how much you all try to stop us, you all not going to stop us. Y'all aren't going to... Um, over uh, overcome us we're going to overthrow you and just like big bro trend genius said at the end of it, it we're going to be the only ones left it's not going to be nobody left but us chosen ones this youtube god made youtube the person who put youtube out that was god inspired doesn't matter if they were white chinese purple invisible it was god inspired youtube was is god inspired even though we got to fight through the devil's restriction, and it, this may not be able to get put up. That may not, they might take this down, might take that down. YouTube was God inspired because the message is being put out there, and freedom of speech, freedom of speech will remain, and they're not going to be able to stop that no matter how hard they try. God will make a way for the message to get out there, whether it's another platform being created, whether it's something new being created to where, um, it's even easier to put the message out there, whether it's the technology or a new platform, whatever. God won't be stopped. Something new is going to come out. God is going to be able to find whoever's got the resource. However, it's easiest for him to get it done through another person. That's how it's going to come. God don't play around, man. And right now he's, he's, he's using his people he, the people that he chose that the ones that everybody hates all the Jesuses in the end there will be many <laughs> in the end there will be more than one <laughs> like all us Jesuses we're rising up we're getting stronger we're getting better and we can't be stopped we, we are full blown army right now and chosen ones are blazing in the we are blazing in the trail of glory or whatever you want to call it the blaze of glory uh we got this thing, and ain't nobody going to be able to stop us chosen ones from doing what we need to do, getting what we need to get accomplished, having what we need to have, being what we need to be, and becoming what we need to become. It's impossible. They're not going to be able to stop us. What God put in us, y'all can't stop. God put something in us that he didn't put in y'all. And y'all are upset. They're upset about it because God chose us specifically. He put something in us that he did not put in everyone else. And people see that and they hate us for it. And they wish it didn't exist. As, as the good brother Nino Brown will say, they see your greatness and they wish it didn't exist. Shout out to Nino Brown. I listen to Trend Genius. I listen to Les Brown. I listen to Nino Brown. I listen to David Goggins. I listen to Reverend Ike. I listen to all those dudes. And I listen to Neville Goddard. I listen to who else? I listen, I listen to all those dudes, man. Real powerful speakers, man. Like you listen to those dudes that'll change your life. You won't if you listen to them, you won't be able to hate on another person. If you listen to them, you won't be able to to think negative thoughts about yourself. You'll be able to you'll be able to become your greatest version. I, I watch um, Ralph Smart. Watch Ralph Smart. That's another good person to watch. If you watch all those people, I guarantee you your life will change, and you'll be able to continue to be a better person. Doctor Norman Vincent Peale. That's another one. Robert Kiyosaki, or however you say his name, the the guy that wrote Rich Dad Poor Dad. 
these are some books that have changed your life, man, for the better. And like I could never be a hater, and I could never not want to help someone the way those guys have helped me. The videos that they put out were so influential to me. The videos that they put out were so helpful. And it's like, how could you not want to watch those dudes? How could you not want to self-improve, man? And it's like, I'm always self-improving. I got to self-improve because if not, I'm going to be unhappy. I'm going to hate myself. And if I'm unhappy and I hate myself, I'm going to hate everything and everyone around me. I'm going to hate the world around me. And that's not a good way to be. And these are the things that we fought through early on. That's why we're at the stage right now. We're still working through some of these things, but we had to fight. We chose to fight. We didn't give up. We didn't choose to just, it is what it is. As they say, as they say, we didn't choose to just, it is what it is. That's some bullshit. That's some BS. That's a defeated mind state. That's somebody who gave up. That's somebody who's not going to keep fighting. That's somebody that you don't want to work around. That's someone you don't want to wake up and have to go see tomorrow. That's somebody you don't want to see every day. That's somebody you don't want to bump into at the store. That's not what you want. You don't want those types of people around you. And it's just like people think they could just treat us however they want to treat us and ignore the fact that we're the Jesus of today's time. No crazy bullshit, man. Like, I, like it's unfortunate that there are crazy people in the world who, who, who just need to hear the proper hearing. Like, they, they, they just need to hear something to turn something back on so they could think properly. Like, like, the type of thinking that I have, and I'm sure that other chosen ones have, and other successful people have, God chose to be successful to help people and to help the world and to make the world a better place. It's like, you feel that you can come back from anything. You literally feel that nothing can stop you. Like, the people that are thrown away, that are called crazy, all, all, all they need, all they're missing is the pro something to turn on the proper thinking in their mind to get their mind back on track. There's nothing. It's like it's like finding a plant, right? That's about to die. You ever seen somebody that finds a plant that's about to die, or they find an animal that's like fucked up, and then they nurse it back to health? That's the same fucking thing with a human being. You could take that person. You could take a person, right? Because God is a miracle worker, right? If you believe that you could fix a person or help a person as best as they could be fixed or helped, you could literally have God work through you and perform whatever needs to be done and that person could slowly but surely get worked back to where they need to be so that they could be as functionally uh, uh, back to normal as they can. So it's like people want to give up. People want to have a defeated mind state and they want to hate you because you don't have the same mindset. They want to hate you because you have the yes I can mindset. They want to hate you because you don't give up. They want to hate you because you'll never give up. They want to hate you because it's something in you that they don't know they have. It's the same thing that's inside them. It's like they see us as going super saiyan. Like we're, they see us as super saiyan but they don't know that they got superpowers too. It's like it's like that one dude that was a wrestler but didn't have no powers. That's how they see themselves. But they see us as Goku, Vegeta. They don't they don't think they had no powers. They don't think they don't see themselves as special because they're so worried about everybody else. I'm not sure if this is programming from TV or what, but who knows? Maybe it's maybe it's programming from TV. Maybe chosen ones because I mean man, shit. We're more famous than famous people that are on TV. So maybe they see the same thing in us that they see in those people that got them brainwashed on the television. But who knows? Like whatever we possess, they feel they ain't got it. And I know we got it. And shout out to everybody else who God has gave ears and eyes to see, man, because this is truly a blessing. Because 
we're seeing the synchronicities. Our angels are talking to us. Our angels are letting us know. God's letting us know that the time is here and we are to become successful. We are to become great. We are to become our greatest version. <clears throat> and nothing is going to stop us from doing that. And the better we become, the greater we become, the more it's just like a video game. Like the farther you get in the game, the more shit you gotta go through. So like those video games were trying to like those video games, that's life, man. Like the the farther you get, the like there are gonna be more obstacles. And God put in us the ability and the responsibility to get over these things and to get through these things and we could do it. And anybody watching this video, I know you could do it. Type right now in the comment section, I know I could do it. Subscribe, hit the like button, <clears throat> and type in the comment section, God put the ability in me to be able to achieve my goals. And I am going to be successful this year, right here, right now. I'm choosing success. I'm choosing to become my greatest version. You may not have a haircut. <clears throat> you may not have a shirt with a good collar on it. But if you have a place to stay, thank God and be grateful because greater things are coming. If you keep working towards your goals, if you keep being the great good person that you are, if you keep believing in God, like no matter what I look like right now, I see myself how I want to be. I see myself with a haircut. I see myself with perfect teeth, dental health. I see myself eating right, the best foods, the, the best places to live. Lots of property, lots of land, space. Don't got to run into people if I don't feel like it. Sometimes I need to be alone. Please don't kill my vibe. Please don't kill my vibe. I can feel your energy from two planets away. I got my drink. I got my music. I will share it. But today I'm saying, please don't kill my vibe. Just let me chill. I can feel your energy from two planets away. Like, when he said, yo, when that song came out and he said that, I was like, yo, I resonated with that. But I didn't quite know. I wasn't quite on. But the dude Kendrick Lamar, he must have been a real, he must have been a real kindred soul, a real, um, man, he must have, he, been, he must have been real tapped in. Because he, to be that young and to, like, understand that shit and to be able to make it, but he was in L.A. too. But it is a lot of life living when you're in, growing up in type of circumstances like he grew up in. Where I grew up, it was real slow. It was just a lot of suburbs, you know what I'm saying, not shit happening, just regular shit you know what i'm saying as i got older i got into some different things but as of when i grew up it was just slow suburbs you know what i'm saying it is what it is but like yeah that nigga, that nigga kendrick lamar was on some shit for real but it's just fucked up man like they really don't feel that they can get ahead they see us and make us a target because we have feel good energy they see that we don't give up they see that we keep thriving and surviving not just surviving they see that we're thriving they see that god is about to bless us because when you don't do any harm to anyone when you're not out here bothering people when you're not out here doing what they're doing stalking people harassing people trying to collect energy from people instead of praying to God and talking to God, like these people don't talk to God and they don't pray. So it's just like we're literally living in the walking dead. That's what this shit is. It's the walking dead. They're fucking vampires. They're zombies. They don't talk to God. They don't pray. They don't understand God. They don't have no faith in God. They don't know how God works. So if you're if you're not a chosen one or if God's if you're not if if no one's going to like like if, if Jesus ain't gonna put his hand on you and heal you type shit and give you the knowledge and the information that God has blessed us with the like the the Christ of today like these people are just gonna be walking around soulless like looking at us like ah you know what I'm saying like the gnashing of the teeth the itching of the ears they like these people are mad that we possess God they're mad that we have God in us they're mad that we realize that God lives in us they're upset about that and they don't like it. No, we're not perfect. You know what I'm saying? I get pissed off when these people keep fucking trying me and keep fucking testing me. I, I'll, I'll walk around and I'll be like like cursing and fucking uh, 
venting and ranting because it's like I want them to feel my pain and I want them to be annoyed by how they make me feel. But it's not solving my problem. Me walking around, getting upset and frustrated, it's just making me not look too intelligent. And I know it's making me not look too sane or what not sane but you get what i'm saying it's not made like it's probably making me look like i got something off but the thing is i kind of want it to look like that because i i just i want them to leave me alone so bad so it's like I, i'm willing to do anything just to like maybe this will work maybe that like i just want people to leave me alone like if you can't respect me then forget me but the thing is they don't have no respect they don't see they they see it's just like yo he's minding his business he's staying to himself he don't want nothing to do with us whatever like motherfucker like once you do that you become a target they want your they want your eye contact your solar eye contact they want you they want that energy transfer they they want that like for whatever whatever it does to them like i don't know but i guess it just like it, it maybe that like maybe it just because they're soulless beings so maybe they need like like they need some of the energy for their soul i don't fucking know but that that shit is just so weird when it's like I'm just trying to mind my business, go about my day, and you go, you're gonna try to force me, you know, to look at you, look you in the eye. If we had a conversation, you couldn't even look me in the eye. So what does me walking past? What is what is you making me have to look at you and you look me in the eye? What does that do? What's that do? Because if we had a conversation and we talked and chopped it up, and you wouldn't be able to look me in the eye. You'd be like looking straight ahead, looking this way, looking that away. You wouldn't be able to look. You can't. They can't even look us in the eye. So what the fuck do they want us to look at them in the eye when we walk? What, what what's that for? When they walk past us, they want that energy transfer. What is that? But when we, if we were to have a conversation with them, they couldn't even look us in the eye. Like we're we're, we're dealing with like sick individuals, and they really need help because whatever they see in us. They don't feel they can have it. They don't see it in themselves. These people feel that they're they're down. They feel they can't get up. They feel there is no getting up. They literally feel like that. They feel their life is over and they have so much life to live. You, you don't have to hate your life because you work at a crappy job. You don't have to hate your life because you, when you look in the mirror, you're disgusted with yourself and you want to cry. You don't have to hate yourself because you're not where you want to be in life right now. You don't have to hate yourself because you've been working on something for so long and it hasn't clicked. Don't give up. Don't hate yourself. Don't hate somebody who's further along than you. You should be glad to see that person is further along than you. And if you look up their story, you'll probably see that you went through they went something through through something similar as you and you're on your way. It's just that people TV has programmed people. TV has did a number on the psychology of the mind. Because TV don't got nothing positive on there. All those negative thoughts is coming from... I was smart enough to realize it. I was smart enough to... Because I have a good memory. I was smart. My brain was showing... My brain was showing me... Oh, you know how stuff just pop back up in your mind? Little flashes, little clips from TV would pop back up on my mind just randomly. I'd just be sitting thinking, chilling. That's where that negative thought came from. That's where that negative thought came from. That's where that negative thought came from. That's why I feel like that. That's what taught me to be afraid. That's why I learned fear. And it's like, how did I, I learned all these things from watching TV. The tell live vision taught me these things. To be afraid, to be jealous, to worry, to think, to, to be scared, to think that I can't solve my problem, to think that it's over. Like, you'll literally watch a TV show and it'll be like, I hate my life. Like, they'll say that on TV. That shit stays in your subconscious mind. They got stuff like, I wish they, like, you'll hear on see like, something on the show, like, I wish I was dead. What? Why would you want to hear that? I turn the TV off. I, I, I read books. I watch positive videos. I um I work on my music. I work on myself. I exercise. I do positive things. I go outside. I sit outside. I really don't like watching TV. I may watch a movie or two, or whatever. But I really don't watch TV like that. I may I may turn it on ten times a year. 
maybe 15, 20 most a year. No more than 20 times do I watch TV a year because it's not worth it. It's not good for you. Television isn't healthy for your mind or, or, for, or for your outlook on life. It's just not healthy. It's not good for you. It's not called tell live vision for no reason. But it's like, I try to tell people these things. I try to talk to people about these things. But the thing is, the information isn't for everyone. It's only for who it's meant for. And God will bless you and the other people who it's meant for. So if you have the message, just put it out. Don't go around like trying to tell people or convince people. Just use these platforms. Just like however you learn, use the platform. Put it out. It's going to reach who it's supposed to reach. And whoever's meant to see it, will see it. So, it is what it is, as they say. But it's just mind-boggling. Because it's like, we're really good people. Well, we will help somebody. We will do anything for anyone. But people want to treat us like garbage and take out their negative um, experiences on us. They want to take out how they feel on us because they know that we're a good person and we're not really going to react or we're really not going to hit you. We're really not going to split your wig over some words, chosen ones. Mostly, most thing we'll do is just walk away or whatever, unless you keep pestering us. We'll just be like, whatever, man, this God knows this person, don't know what the fuck they're doing. So I'm going to use the God in me. Just leave the situation alone. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, once they keep pressuring us and pressuring us and pressuring us and fucking with us, it's just like, it's going to come to a point where it's like, yo, man, thy rod and thy staff is about to whoop that ass. And like, look, before it comes to that, just take a deep breath, take a walk, go in your room or something. Most and foremost, always pray. You don't want to make no bad decisions and end up in a situation that you can't get out of over a fucking idiot. So it's good to meditate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Meditate before you go outside. Pray before you go outside. Speak into existence the type of day you want to have. Speak into existence the type of things you want to have. Speak into existence the reality you want because your word has power. Your word is a GPS to your reality. Uh... That brother polite dude said that. That's that's one good thing that I picked up from that dude. I don't know about nothing else Nick got going on, but I guess we'll see. But the, the, he did the one good thing I picked up from him. And he said was your words are a GPS to your reality. You know, so I try. I tend to pick up the good things that I hear when I hear them, and if it's positive, and if I can use it to make my life better and not hurt nobody, then I'll use it. You know, I implement it, but chosen one stuff is is risky business, man. <laughs> it's it's just you, you're just trying to be yourself, you're just trying to spread some positivity and spread some love and be a good person, and motherfuckers hate you for it. But it's like fuck them because we're strong with God. The joy of the Lord is our strength, and God's gonna keep as long as we tap. We can tap into God's strength whenever we can. That's the thing. We're powerful. We can change how we feel. We can alter how we feel just by speaking things into existence. Because that's why we have to be careful about what we think and what we speak. Because what we think and what we speak governs our reality. But chosen ones, that shit is working at like super light speed. So you have to be careful what you watch, what you listen to, who's around you. That's why we don't like people like that. And we got to protect our energy because we don't want other people's demons you know what i'm saying chosen ones we only eat certain foods we don't eat foods that are riddled with bad spirits and demonic energy because our higher selves are tell us not to eat that but uh, i ain't gonna touch that you know so we're 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 on a different level than other people we have higher intelligence our senses are heightened and other people could see that and they're just like that's why they do weird stuff because they want to make it seem like they have higher senses or they they're super intelligent but it's like all they're doing is just they're doing the stupidest shit they're doing the dumbest shit and they're trying to seem smart but they're not smart and it's just really annoying what they do but we have to take our power back and 
we have to become strong to the point where we don't let it annoy us, we don't let it bother us, we just ignore them, be like, uh, that's just a lost soul, I'm not going to give them any of my energy, I'm going to let them stay soulless, because they want your reaction, and because they don't have no energy, and if you don't give them no energy, then they stay soulless, and it is what it is, and they can just stay where they want, and that's it, and we don't have to deal with them, and whenever they come near us, they're just going to keep getting weaker, and weaker, and weaker, because we're always leveling up, we're always getting stronger, we stay connected to God, we stay connected to our angels, we're always doing better, we're always reading, we're always exercising, we're always eating better, we're always drinking water, we're always getting sunlight, we're always meditating, we're always saying affirmations, writing down positive words, speaking positive words, thinking positive words, so it's like we're super connected to God, and when these people see us, we are the closest thing to God that they see. So it's like they see how we're, we're, we're an anomaly to these people. We're something great. We're something astonishing. We are the light of the world. We are the salt of the earth. <laughs> we are the salt of the earth. We, we got the sauce. And um, people uh, want the recipe. And uh, they're mad that they can't uh, cook up the same stuff we cook up. You know, we do things, other people try to do it and don't get the same result. And they get pissed, they get upset, and they don't they don't uh, want to give us respect or give us our props. Because we are who we are, and they really feel some type of way that they are who they are. And it's eating at them, and it's, it's, it's killing them. And they, they can't handle it. So it's like anything to get a reaction out of us. These people are petty. Like, they're petty to the point, because just because God chose us and made us how we are, they want to take that out on us, you know? Like, they're really upset on some why God stuff, so I guess they feel that by taking it out on us, they're also taking it out on God, since God made us how we the way we are, and they are the way they are, you know? But... See, I'm getting calmer and calmer. It's not worth getting upset. It's not worth giving these people your energy. It's not worth it. You want to save your energy for projects. You want to save your energy for making yourself better. You want to save your energy for self-improvement. You don't want to give your energy away to these people because they're going to keep coming back for more and more and more. So the less you give them, the less, if the more the less you give them and the more you ignore them, even if they keep doing OD, just keep ignoring them. Because the fact that you keep ignoring them, even if they do start going harder, it's just going to start being funny to you. Because you're going to keep being stronger and you're not going to give a fuck. And the more weird shit they do and the weirder it gets, you're just going to start laughing. And you're just going to be so confident and so happy in yourself and so focused on God's blessings that they're not going to be able to affect you. They're not going to be able to affect your day because you're going to be so focused on how beautiful your, your day is. You're going to be focused on how much money you have because God made his, the, righteous, the righteous shall flourish. God made the, the people who love him to prosper. We love God. We're happy. We're automatically going to attract wealth and prosperity and success and abundance because we believe in God. We follow God. We love God. And we treat everybody around us like how God knows that we're supposed to treat them. Like we know how God would want us to treat another fucking human being. This shit is simple, man. It's not. It's not hard. It's not difficult. That's why they're Decepticons. That's why they're demons. Because this shit is simple. It's easy. It's not hard. But they want to go against what they know is right. This is, this is some simple shit, y'all. This is some simple shit. But people want to make it difficult. Because they're not handsome. They're not beautiful, so that's what they think. That's what they feel. They look at us, and they see us as the next best thing, the hottest thing since pants with pockets, the, the, the newest thing, the freshest thing since sliced bread. You know what I'm saying? They are up 